Fox News is well into its America Together LGBTQ Plus Pride Month event. Don't forget that plus, it's important. Remember, Fox is totally on our side. And by the way, Fox News just promoted trans surgeries for children and went way deep into transgender ideology and promoted that to its viewers. It described a case of a family in which the little girl of the family, before she could even speak, her parents had decided that she was a boy. And then, when she was old enough to speak at five years old, basically the age at which the child just parrots what its parents say, and she said, I'm a boy, they continued to affirm, affirm that, and we're supposed to all clap and cheer. Take a quick look at this, because I, I couldn't even make it up. Before Ryland could even speak, he managed to tell his parents that he is a boy. I could just see it. It, it wasn't him trying to be a brat. It was like painful. It was truly painful for him to have to wear feminine clothing and, and for us constantly telling him that you're a girl. And unlike some trans kids, when Ryland came out at age five a few years later, he had the full support of his parents. Yeah, so shock. So when the parents decided that even when this child was unable to speak, that it was that she was a, a boy, that, you know, they just kept pushing that idea and pushing that idea. And then finally they're like, oh, look, oh, look, it's exactly what we thought. And everyone is supposed to find this positive. It's horrifying and it's evil. And the same piece by Fox News goes on to imply that self-harm by such a child is caused by everybody else being um, judgmental and pushing back against what's being said. It describes the case, or the father of the family, describes being inside of a, a support group in which another parent says that his child started to self-harm. And then he concludes on the basis of that, that the self-harm is a result of refusing to accept your child in, you know, his... I don't want to say in his brokenness, but in his refusal to acknowledge who he really is innately. That pushback led that child to turn to self-harm as a teenager, which 60% of trans and non-binary kids engage in, according to the Trevor Project. More than 50% consider suicide. That for me was the turning point. I didn't want to see Ryland to go through that. I'd rather have a living son than a dead daughter. I guarantee this is entirely false. That's not what self-harm is. Self-harm is indicative that the person is responding to emotional pain in a maladaptive way. Nobody said that the child wasn't suffering. That isn't a claim that I make or that anybody makes. In fact, we can all acknowledge that the child has a mental illness. Fox News admitted it in the very beginning of its segment. Gender dysphoria. So yeah, it's pretty obvious that there's going to be some pain there. That's, this isn't to minimize the pain of the child, it's to say that what we don't do is say, you know what, because you're in pain, let's deny who you are innately. Let's deny who you are before God and say, you know what, let's just go ahead and start drugging you and mutilating you and making decisions that you can never actually undo, that can never be fixed. But anyway, this is where we are with Fox News. This is where we are with a supposedly conservative network. Remember, this is supposed to be our buddy. This is the one who tells us, I don't know. I mean, this is modern conservatism that conserves absolutely nothing of value. Instead, they're celebrating, indoctrinating kids, denying them their innate identity, and then sterilizing them for life. We're supposed to applaud? Really? I mean, when I say that conservatism doesn't conserve, I mean it. And you look at cases like this, and, and it ought to have us all in recoil, in absolute horror. It does with me, and I imagine that it probably does with you too. And if if you, and by you, I'm referring to Fox here, but if you're not willing to stand up for children who are being mutilated, then you have no moral standing or grounding whatsoever. And to the people who say, the kids want this, they consent, they asked for it. I mean, what are we saying? What are we saying a child has the power to consent to? What we're saying is that the child has the ability to consent to absolutely everything, including life-altering permanent decisions. And so it doesn't take much of a leap or a step to say, well, if they can affirm and consent to a surgery like this, and they consent to, say, a pedophilic relationship, and that's where we're going. And, it, I mean, I've been talking for a long time about how this is all about the sexualization of children and the, the propensity toward normalization of pedophilia. It's like it's not even a leap anymore. 
we're so, so very close to saying, well, you know, they have the power to consent. They're, they're, they're hypersexualized, which is being ma made happen throughout the school system. And then we're saying, well, okay, they, they can consent to all kinds of manner of decisions. Therefore, why not? This is disgusting. Fox News level conservatism doesn't involve itself in what you might call moral matters, in other words, anything of meaning. Instead, they're just busy fighting Republican versus Democrat or red versus blue. It's just a game to them. The entire election cycle is just a game to them. We have real issues that are worth fighting, and they're on the wrong side. You made it to the end. You either really liked or really hated that video. Let's assume you liked it. There are lots more that you can choose from, and also you can follow me on Gab and various other social media sites. And if you are able to support the channel, that's an option for you too. There are links in the description below. Thank you so much.